Our first question was how much is spent on healthcare in total in each country. To calculate this, let's introduce you to spreadsheet formulas. Formulas are what makes spreadsheets such an important tool. But how do they work? Let's find out by playing with them. Have you downloaded the sample data set? If not, find the link below and open it in Google Sheets. Create a working copy if you haven't done this already. You'll note that we have both data for private and public health expenditure. Let's say we wanted to calculate total health expenditure by adding these two values up. To do this, we need to create a new column by clicking on the small arrow that appears in the column label and then selecting Insert One Right. Let's name this new column Health Expenditure Total. All formulas start with an equal sign, so let's click in our first cell and type equals. Now we can select the first cell we want to add together. You'll see that the cell reference appears in the formula as we click on the cell. Now let's type a plus sign to add them together, and then click on the second cell we'd like to add together. Now press Enter or Tab to finish the formula. You'll see that it has now added up the values in these two cells. Although you can type out each formula individually, this can be incredibly time consuming. So it's often easier to do it in several other ways. Firstly, you can copy and paste formulas. Select the formula you would like to copy, press Ctrl or Command C, click in the cell where you'd like to copy it to, and press Ctrl or Command V. You'll notice that this is now adding up the two cells below, and it has moved the formula. An easier way to move formulas is to simply click and drag the small blue square in the bottom of a cell. This will copy the formula down all the way, just like magic. So what about subtraction? We can easily subtract cells by doing a very similar thing and simply replacing the plus sign with a minus symbol. Now you can see it's subtracting these two values and telling us the difference between public and private health expenditure. So we've managed to easily add things up. Now let's take a look at division. We can, for example, calculate the GDP per capita or per person. And to do this, we simply have to divide the GDP by the total population. So we use the forward slash symbol for division, but first let's create a new row, a new column. Let's name this GDP per capita. Once again, we start off our formula with an equal sign. We click on the GDP, and then we type forward slash, the sign for division, and then click on the population. Once again, we press Enter or Tab to complete our formula. To duplicate this formula, we can simply drag it all the way down. you'll see that it is now calculated the GDP per person. Something to note is if you did not have a value in the population, let's say it was zero, you will get this error, which means that you've divided by zero, which is something that, which is not possible. To undo something you've done in a press sheet, spreadsheet, you can press Command or Control Z. Multiplication works very much the same. Instead, we use the asterisk symbol instead of the forward slash. So if we wanted to multiply it, you would type that as your formula and press enter or tab. 